and now we are in the validatory session of this phase two uh, orientation of SRG online training on e-content. We'll uh, soon start the valedictory session. Please join everyone. <laughs> this uh, for the welcome address i would request dr monica uh, to come and dr monica are you there Uh, we are just waiting for the validatory session. We'll start soon. Uh, meanwhile, I would like to uh, talk that I hope you all have prepared your state action plan in collaboration with other members of your state. And we will go uh, from alphabetically order. And you among yourself, among your team, please decide who will be presenting the state action plan. And you all will be getting two to three minutes to present. So be brief and quick. So we'll start with Andaman and Nicobar, then Andhra Pradesh, then Karnataka in third number, then Ladakh. Fifth will be Puducherry, and at last Telangana will present. So please decide and be ready who will be presenting the state action plan.
welcome back everyone in the last session that is validatory session so we'll start this with the welcome address by dr monica nagpal from ciet uh, very good evening and namaskar to all uh, it is really a very pleasant time we all are uh, here at since we are moving uh, towards the end of this program so beautifully we have uh, uh, completed all the sessions now we are at the conclusion stage and uh, if in physical mode we would have observed this time it would have been really an emotional moment for all of us uh, but uh, it is no nowhere we are going to leave each other after this meeting rather we will be connected through different uh, platforms maybe not directly as directly as this meeting but we will definitely be connected through different modes so with these words i will uh, formally i would like to welcome first of all my dear participants from six states and uts uh for this valedictory session uh here we are going to conclude and we are also going to listen to our action plan state action plans which we have developed during this last uh, Uh, session and uh, after uh, the participants i would also like to welcome uh, our program coordinator professor indu kumar ma'am who has been a guiding soul and a motivating hand behind all of us to successfully complete this program and uh, after ma'am the most important person uh, our joint director professor amrinder prasad behra i would uh, but he is with us because daily on daily basis he has been asking me how is the program going is everything okay why are you not with the screen is it a break so he is there with this much of presence so it is not like if he's uh, not uh, uh, he has not been able to join in the inaugural or he has not been able to join in the middle somewhere but he is there he is listening to all the session whenever he has time so i welcome you sir for this valedictory session in the absentia right now maybe if he is able to join later i would also like to welcome uh, our head of the department uh, for our dict department dr bharti koshik uh, she won't be joining this time she has joined for the inaugural but she is in some other session uh, so but i welcome her for uh, this uh, program uh, with these words i now hand over uh, the session to miss pinky for the further deliberations thank you very much thank you ma'am now uh for overview of the program i would invite professor indu kumar program coordinator uh, for the overview of the whole five day program so i welcome ma'am
ma'am is in another session she is just coming uh, till then we can start the state action plans and then we can uh, go for a overview by professor indu kumar so let's start state action plan from andman and nicobas so who will be presenting andman and nicobar uh, who will be making the presentation please unmute themselves and respond iPhone क्यों सर? Yeah, now we are able to audio. Listen to you. Hello, ma'am. Think there is some network issue. Is this audible? Ah, uh, now, ma'am, you are audible. ट्रेनिंग Although I was not directly involved with the training process, but I have attended the training, and it was really useful and wonderful for us. As far as the state action plan, as we are developed by discussing with all the group members, I would like to share my screen. So, uh, first of all, the first thing which we are trying to make is. we will uh, would like to extend the already existing srg group of 20 members to more members means we want to include more technically trained teachers into this group next we will like to divide this srg group into three listed uh, three groups so that each group will focus on each district of this island we have three districts so we are trying to divide the srg group into three groups where every group will focus on one particular district after that we are also planning to make a district wise resource group by the state and this district level resource group will be trained by the srg members so in online or offline mode whatever is possible after that this district level teachers district level group teachers will train the other teachers among the district after that also trying to make an online monthly online training program on every fourth saturday from 9 am to 1 pm for teachers of selected teachers from selected schools every month so that more and more teachers will be enabled with quality e content development after that we, we will also look into whatever contents we are already having how to increase the quality of the already existing contents and how to improve uh, the and develop more contents with a good quality e content so that that contents can be uploaded on diksha and otherwise on youtube uh, state youtube channels and other media so that maximum students can be benefited we are also trying to make some assessment tools with the H h5p tools with already existing contents which were developed by us like workbooks and supplementary books we made tools to develop some assessment tools after that we are also planning to make an state level training team to regularly monitor the activities done by srgs and drgs and necessary guidance may be given from time to time we are also uh, trying to make one uh, state level assessment committee so that 
the quality and the content of the uh, e content developed by the teachers can be monitored and necessary guidance can be given to them from time to time whenever there is some shortcomings or some problems with the content we are already we have the si state institute of education and the diet have already planned to provide in service training to the head of the schools and the teachers on ict tools and also on e content development during this session this is already in our plan at last we would also like to identify every yeah, a teacher from every single school who will act as a nodal teacher from that school and will help to coordinate uh, help in coordination with uh, the srg sr yeah uh, srg and drg so we can directly to connect to the grassroots level with every school that's all from our side ma'am okay thank you ma'am i hope the, uh, this action plan is uh, developed in collaboration with other 20 members from anman yes, and you know what yes ma'am this is developed okay. with inputs from all the 20 members thank you so much uh, next i would invite a uh, participant from andhra pradesh to share their state action plan who will be presenting please unmute themselves and speak myself i am going to present let me share my screen ma'am good evening respected cit and ncert faculty of the <clears throat> faculty and the colleague teachers who are presented here myself i am madhavi varigonda i am from andhra pradesh i am presenting this action plan behalf of our team we prepare this action plan uh, based on the discussions by our state coordinator and core members from our team members and we uh, came up with these three major aspects uh, that are suggested by you uh, firstly about our individual contribution as srgs and plan of 20 srg members as a group and plan in collaboration with ap diksha so coming to the first one individual contribution firstly we will share our expertise of some tools with other teachers from our neighborhood schools uh, from uh, existing schools to our comp uh, complex level as per the possibility it is up to mandal level and also help them in creation of uh, uh, e content on uh, some user friendly tools and also help them on on using e content prepared by some other persons also on capacity building of our students on creation of uh, e content next we will guide and implement the activities for uh, integration of ict in our tlp teaching learning process in classrooms uh, like uh, active use of qr codes creation of worksheets quizzes and other interactive content tools created to formative assessments also we will uh, like to involve parents for their acceptance on implementing digital activities uh, even in their at their homes next we will assist them to aware on repositories uh, state repositories from diksha also related to uh, some other courses related to adult education and foundational literacy and numeracy and other e courses on nista also some other course useful courses on swayam and mooks platform and interactive content in e patasala also about virtual labs next the point number 2 plan of 20 members as a group 
uh, firstly we will train the fellow teachers and children of our schools and creation of e content for energized textbooks and we will collaborate with other teachers for supporting coming to the first one we are going to contribute our teacher community by sharing our knowledge of some tools uh, with classroom examples uh, we are trying to uh, give assistance and train some other teachers through our ap diksha live sessions one hour per week in a series of episodes also going to provide uh, some clickable pdfs for uh, easy accessibility for both teachers and children based on the requirement like spoken english and learn a word a day uh, in using some words uh, in dictionary proper use of dictionaries like that and uh, the tools that we are going to uh, give uh, assistance for both teachers and children uh, coming to the children the user friendly tools like uh, for doing their project works like uh, effective use of qr codes infographics uh, videos animated and interactive tools and some other uh, tools for poster makings and creation of concept maps also mind maps and other student courses that we are going to establish in future and coming to the teachers we also uh, give some uh, guidance on useful tools like microsoft and google tools and also fast tools free and open source software tools podcasts and video making and animation tools also creation of videos for deeksha and vidya dan etc uh, other uh, other aspect creation of e content for energized textbooks so basically we have uh, many content creators uh, from our deeksha so I, as per our state requirements uh, we will give more focus on creating e content for uh, disabled able children cws in children also for our digitalized uh, textbooks for localized content and vidyadan also and we are trying to collaborate with other teachers for supporting uh, for giving technical support uh, we already created uh, before year uh, on uh, on the part of ict trainings Uh, for respective uh, teachers from our state we will reactivate those groups and uh, we for uh, giving uh, guidance on technical support and guidance on creation of digital content so the point number 3 plan in collaboration with ap diksha and cmat we will always support in plan and execution of ict initiatives from our state uh, like upcoming trainings both either offline or online and also our state is going to create an e content app for digital content creators especially of our state so we will uh, going to uh, take an active part on it and we also are exploring the collaboration groups especially in diksha and we are uh, we are on the process on designing student courses and also we are going to create some localized content related to our curriculum and on the concepts and the main second aspect uh, evaluation many of the uh, content creators has created many uh, useful videos a lot of content is waiting for reviewing so we will take an active part on it as per the guidelines of ncert we are go we are going to uh, conduct review based on it and we will take an active part also we are going to create content as per the needs need, needs of cwsn and more focus on uh, uh, localized content related to related to our new curriculum and also for vidyadan so this is the app which are which is going to create uh, which is going to created by our ap diksha cmat which is e content app which is only which is exclusively for uh, uh, digital creators of uh, srg members of our state so sure we will support in planning and execution of ict initiatives from our state as state resource group members even after uh, thanks thank you so much for uh, giving this wonderful opportunity of the training thank you so much behalf of our team thanks a lot thank you so much ma'am it was a very detailed uh, action plan covering i think almost all the aspects of this training which we discussed in last 5 days so thank you so much i hope yes andhra pradesh come up with lot of good quality and inclusive uh, resources um, that we we will see in future in thank next year so thank you
Next, I would invite Karnataka. So, a participant from Karnataka State. Good Please. evening, ma'am. Good evening, ma'am. Uh, myself, Agulzar, I am going to present on behalf of Karnataka team, ma'am. Shall I share screen, ma'am? Yes, ma'am. Sure. Uh, good, good, good evening to everyone. Uh, myself is Gulzar I Dumble from Karnataka. Uh, today, on behalf of Karnataka team, I am going to present action plan for development of e-content for Diksha. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank NCIT, CIET for providing such excellent training for last five days. The orientation program was very knowledgeable and uh, made us feel uh, confident in using all ICT tools in developing resource for Diksha. Uh, so now uh, making use of uh, these knowledge uh, in which we have got trained, we have planned action plan of our state uh, for Karnataka. We have divided our action plan uh, into four parts. That is the individual uh, plan, short-term plan, state action plan, and also we want to go through some of the contribution of Karnataka for Diksha and uh, our perspective plans. First of all, I want to focus on uh, SRG's individual action plan. Uh, now we have planned to give training to our own teachers or BRCs or the diet faculties. Uh, each SRG has uh, planned to develop four e-content per month using OSS tools, uh, which we have learned during these orientation program. Uh, now I want to uh, focus on short term plan um, uh, for the uh, development of e-content for Diksha. So in order to increase uh, SRG's strength, uh, we have planned to train 200 teachers or officers from all the district in Karnataka. And uh, for then that, uh, we are planning to give training to the teachers with the integrating uh, FOSS tools in developing e-content in both the uh, regional language and also in uh, English. And also uh, so that we uh, can enrich Diksha portal in all the languages and the medium. Uh, and uh, further, not only in developing resource, uh, but also we have a, a plan to integrate technology in teaching learning process and uh, assessment uh, too. So now I want to focus on our state action plan. Um, that is a uh, short... Uh, uh, short term also plan, uh, plan uh, also included the distribution of uh, work among the uh, SRGs and also creation and, uh, of e-content uh, that is creation and curation of e-content that is developed by the SRG members. So now let us have the um, look on our state action plan. So DSIT has planned to identify and uh, train resource persons at a district level and also at the block level. Agenda will be prepared for the workshop for introducing tools and for e-content development. Uh, next is um, next is our uh, state action plan. Want to focus on uh, C and uh, CWSN uh, students. Uh, support will be provided to develop e-content in the form of audio or video or interactive for the CWSN children. And also plan to identify technically supporting teachers to serve these purposes. And uh, all the 34 diets and four cities uh, is, will be strengthened to develop e-content locally with the help of DRG and BRGs. So this is uh, our state action plan. Now I want to uh, go through some of the contribution of the Karnataka for Diksha. That is 2000 audio lessons are created to facilitate visually impaired students. And 29,581 e-resources are developed by the state. And not only this much, 100% test books and lessons are embedded with the QR codes. And uh, I'm very uh, ha happy to say that Karnataka state stands first in the country in the usage of resource in Diksha portal. And 24 million learning sessions assessed by the state users. So this is our action, uh, our contribution to the Diksha. Now I want to focus on perceptive plans to enrich the Diksha. 
So we want to develop uh, more resources in our regional language and other language that is used in the state. And also uh, we want to uh, analyze the gap. Uh, the gap analysis is already done, but we want to anal gap analysis will be done and action will be taken to develop the resources. And uh, using the technology and digital tools, which we were oriented during the workshop, SRGs will create e-content in multilingual languages. So this is our state action plan on behalf of Karnataka. So thank you everyone, uh, guided by coordinator, uh, Mrs. Zubamangala, SADPI ETCL, DACRT, Karnataka. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Seems like uh, you have very envisioned uh, uh, the whole year, how you are going to uh, create uh, quality e-content for your state. Thank you so much. Thank you, ma'am. So now we'll go for another action plan from uh, UT Ladakh. Oh, sorry, Ladakh state. So I welcome and who will be participating? Uh, hello, ma'am. Share your action. Yeah, this is, uh, this is uh, Zakir Sensha and uh, from my, our side, I'm going to present the uh, this uh, presentation. Welcome, you, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma Behra, sir, is trying to speak something. Okay, okay. Shall I continue, ma'am? Or... Sir, uh, I think Mahara sir wants to join uh, us. Just just... Uh, yeah. Yes, I have just noticed that he has logged in, though he is traveling. Uh, he uh, uh, wasn't available for uh, inaugural also, but he was very keen on meeting you all. He makes it a point to meet you all when we have such trainings, though he is traveling, so, but he is logged in, maybe he is uh, at the airport mm, right now. So, uh, yeah, welcome Professor Behra. Uh, please, uh, if you want to <clears throat> address the participants, so all are there, uh, we can stop the uh, presentation of state action plan for a short while so that we can yeah. hear you. Yes. Or you yes. just want to see it, sir. It depends upon uh, the uh, location that you are in at present. Yes, Professor Vera. Um, he just got disconnected. Okay. Okay, let us wait for him to log in again. We can stop the screen share by then. In let them Sir, you may stop sharing for the timing and uh, then we'll resume. Thank <laughs> you. 
So, uh, uh, JDCIT, um, uh, Professor Amrin Behera sir has joined and he'll be uh, giving the closing remarks and way forward for this training. Uh, thank you. Uh, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Welcome, you, sir. Yes, sir, we can hear you. Can you hear me? We can hear? Thank yes, you. Sir, we can Actually, hear you. Uh, first of all, congratulations to all the participants from five different states, including three southern states and uh, Andaman, Nicobar Islands, and uh, Ladakh. Also, I heard that they are also participating. So, first of all, congratulations to all the participants. And uh, as all of us, we know that the NEP 2020 has given a lot of emphasis on uh, developing quality digital content. So uh, we need to go ahead and have a plan to develop uh, regional language content as well. And uh, uh, because language, again, uh, in some cases, uh, it sometimes plays as a barrier also if enough support is not provided. Uh, besides that, uh, there is a major initiative, digital initiative launched under Prime Minister C. Vidya program, we popularly known as PME Vidya program. So under that, there are 200 more TV channels going to be launched so that regional language contents can be telecast and uh, um, children can be benefited across the country. So I request the state research group of all the five states and UTs who have joined this five days training to initiate action for developing regional language content and uh, uh, facilitate in teaching, learning, and assessment. And besides that, recently we have developed a, um, uh, uh, around 218 virtual labs uh, in collaboration with Amrita and Sudak. And those are available on Diksha. Those could be used also by all the states and duties. I request if you can issue necessary letters to all the schools so that virtual labs can be practiced by them. So uh, that will be a, a good thing to uh, go ahead with. So best wishes to all the participants. Uh, see you uh, sometime. And uh, as we people have just presented the work plan before going ahead, so please adapt to your work plan and uh, try that how all the digital resources can reach to all the schools. Thank you very much. Best wishes. Uh, over to uh, Pinky. Go ahead. Thank you so much, sir, for being, uh, for coming and sharing or encouraging and guiding for future. Uh, sir is, uh, could connect from airport. He's again going somewhere. So thank you again. Uh, so shall we resume, ma'am, state action plan presentation? Uh, please resume. I uh, must also thanks Professor Behra because he's traveling, but still he could find time to, uh, address the participant of this uh, SRG training. So thank you, Professor Behra. Your words mean a lot uh, to all of us. And it encourages also your presence and is very, very encouraging for the participants of the SRG training. Once again, thank you very much. So let us proceed uh, further with the action plan presentation. Now again, I request uh, a Ladakh participant to share their state action plan on behalf of all participants. From Ladakh, who is going to share? Uh, 
connecting Uh, Pinky, we can take another state if they are facing difficulty to join. They, they requested for a second to wait. They again requested. State Ladakh, are you able to connect or facing some difficulty? Then uh, you may try later. There's no conference. Share your screen. Welcome, State Ladakh. We are not able to hear you. Uh, you there, there are rights. You may unmute yourself and speak. Please unmute yourself. Yes, yes, okay. 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 Sorry, ma'am. Uh, uh, due to uh, some poor connection of internet, so uh, I, I just thought late. Uh, no, so, you... as far as uh, Ladakh is concerned, it is a new UT formation. Uh, recently, we have got UT uh, formation in Ladakh. And uh, that's why uh, I, I can say that uh, for the e content uh, you know, creation, we are in, uh, uh, at the foundational stage. So, uh, other, uh, anyhow, we are uh, trying, we will be trying our uh, best uh, under your guidance, under your uh, guidance. And uh, I'm going to share uh, the slide. So, uh, first of all, I would like to share. the individual, uh, individual contribution as SRG members. So for that, um, uh, we have uh, planned to utilize the upcoming winter vacations because you can see me as uh, with a you know winter cap and jacket. Uh, so we are going to have a, a winter vacation for, long, uh, for about uh, one and a half months. So we are uh, going to utilize our upcoming winter vacations for more hand-on practices uh, at individual levels. So we have decided that uh, in the meeting and uh, we will try our best to create maximum possible e-contents uh, in, the, in these uh, you know, vacations uh, so, that we got, uh, so that we can uh, expertise ourselves uh, um, before uh, training to others. And we will try to give training to our co-teachers, whether it's, uh, it's at school or at community level or, uh, or at district level. So uh, yeah, you know that uh, whole Ladakh is divided into two districts and that is Leh and Kargil. So 
uh, which are very far away from uh, each other. So uh, both the SRGs are also divided, 10 from Leh district and 10 from Kargil district. So uh, we are, as an individual, we are going to contribute like that. Now, as uh, planning as 20 SRGs as a group, uh, so uh, we, we are going to divide our group into different subject uh, group as per uh, subject, uh, subgroups as per subject uh, spe uh, specialization with the uh, coordinators uh, uh, for us and for each group for a hands-on group practice uh, in the coming uh, this winter vacations. And uh, this group then will train the other teachers, the colleague uh, teachers uh, at district level in both uh, the uh, districts, Le and Kargil, uh, uh, with the support of Diet Kargil. So uh, presently, we do not have any SCRT or any kind of uh, CRT over here. Uh, so uh, our Diet team and Diet, uh, you know, faculty, they are helping us uh, very much. Uh, so uh, the, uh, in collaboration of the, the support of Diet, we are going to uh, create and train teachers uh, in the coming days. Now, this is our uh, plan as uh, it's uh, just a simple layout uh, for SRG Ladakh. That, uh, we have to uh, divide our SRG Ladakh for Diet Kargil and Diet Le. So, and uh, we will going to uh, train uh, around about 50 to 70 resource persons at district level in both the districts. And uh, in collaboratively with the SRG of Ladakh, SRGs of the Ladakh and uh, 50 uh, resource persons at district level from Leh and Kargil, that is about uh, 100 or 120. So they all will uh, uh, you know, come up with a creation of e-content. And uh, the whole evaluation process uh, will be done by the SRGs and the diet experts. And uh, then uh, uh, it will be going to submit uh, to the NCRT or the Diksha uh, platform as and when allowed. Uh, so here comes a little bit a, a detailed form of that. The SRGs were trained by the experts of NCRT uh, through online and offline. We already had an offline mode of uh, training uh, from uh, uh, NCRT CIT team uh, at Diet Leh uh, months before. And uh, after that, uh, uh, we will continue uh, such uh, training uh, and identify active and subject specific teachers uh, from uh, respective diets, that is at Kargil and Leh, and uh, make them uh, resource persons at district level at at least uh, 50 to 70 uh, teachers will be trained at each diet. So in the meantime, we are also going to, you know, train uh, the and also going to give awareness and train uh, e-contents and its development and its uh, advantages of e-content uh, develop in modern uh, education, modern teaching learning process to all, almost every school. We are going to reach, uh, try, try to reach uh, to uh, every school of our Ladakh. And uh, after the, uh, you know, the formation of new resource persons at district level, and the SRGs group will be divided uh, into, uh, you know, uh, will be divided into different subject groups and on the uh, and assigned a uh, two to three SRGs as coordinator for each group and uh, assign them a, in a particular time board or specific time board to create any content. And after that, we will going to evaluate that and uh, submit it to the. Uh, NCRT and CIT team or on Diksha platform. So this is uh, somewhat we have sh uh, scheduled and say it's a just a tentative list and you can say, uh, you can uh, observe over here that is on uh, from about 28 onwards, uh, we are going to uh, do some uh, planning that, uh, the, that uh, to train the other teachers, and this tentative list will be uh, changed uh, for uh, further. And uh, at last, uh, I would like to uh, take this opportunity to thank uh, our extent, sincere thanks, and uh, to entire team of NCRT CIT for this great and wonderful, unique five-day online program on e-content creation. Heartfelt thanks to worthy mm -hmm. director, school education, Dr. Sabdar Ali sir, and other. Uh, for his kind support and believing in us for his uh, 
for this eminent purpose. And uh, the time uh, and uh, principal died Cargill and principal died Le for their kind support, facilities, and comfort. And uh, uh, the coordinators uh, of both the diets uh, respectively for their kind support and guidance. And uh, this is uh, uh, this is all from our side. Salam Julie. Thank you, ma'am. So thank you, uh, sir, for sharing state action plan. And I, I, I now thank you so much. Now, next, I would request a participant from Puducherry for sharing state action plan. Please unmute themselves. You have the rights to unmute and share Sorry. your screen. I'm Gomadi from Puducherry team presenting with you all uh, the action plan uh, for the next academic year. I'm sharing my screen. Welcome, ma'am. Yes, here is our action plan Action plan for uh, the next academic year. First, uh, we would like to uh, state about the activities done at our state level uh, in the previous uh, years. Uh, Puducherry is uh, well uh, provided with the infrastructure facilities. It is well known uh, to all. In our uh, uh, UT, uh, we, in, high, in all the I and IA secondary level, we have a uh, uh, we have well established ICT labs in the previous academic year. It is extended up to a middle school level. So in Puducherry, from middle school to higher secondary level, we have ICT uh, level in all uh, schools. And uh, our department decided uh, uh, to provide computers to all the primary schools also. So uh, uh, computers, uh, each, each school at least should have a computer uh, uh, that is uh, that is the plan, and we have achieved that. And uh, ICT books for uh, classes six to eight standard has been issued to the students, and uh, reviews uh, or uh, 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 we, we get uh, we get back from the teachers. And uh, shall I continue, ma'am? Yes, microphone mute, sir. Okay, regarding uh, the uh, mapping of uh, ICT content, uh, of, uh, we have uh, we have finished it, completed the project uh, for class five, all subjects. We are uh, uh, we have uh, mapped the ICT content, and uh, on behalf of our after particularly after uh, uh, this uh, Corona outbreak, uh, on behalf of our the Directorate of School Education, we have. Uh, uh, improvised our YouTube uh, channel and we have uploaded more than 500 educational videos uh, in that. Uh, for that purpose, we have uh, uh, installed an ICT studio for preparing uh, e-content uh, uh, at uh, Samagra Siksha. Uh, and uh, another important initiative, to, uh, initiative is the creative, creating interactive e-books, especially for uh, uh, children with uh, special uh, needs. And uh, uh, regarding this uh, FLN uh, mission, which is a national mission of NEP 2020, uh, for pre-primary sections, uh, we have provided Bluetooth uh, speakers for the development of uh, listening uh, skills. And training for teachers have been uh, conducted, and they are uh, trained uh, in uh, video editing and recording and other uh, tasks, such as uh, making digital posters and digital uh, certificates. Uh, like that, uh, we have provided training for the teachers. And another important uh, uh, activity is uh, uh, an uh, audio uh, repository was created, which contains more than 200 stories uh, uh, content in a four language, uh, English, Tamil, Malayalam, and uh, Telugu. Uh, this was the work uh, done uh, regarding ICT at our uh, Puducherry uh, level. And our future plans, uh, uh, SRGs as individual contribution, um, we, we, we saw the very purpose of this uh, training program. We will uh, take uh, 
the content of the training program usage of the software uh, free operating uh, software uh, tools uh, to uh, to all of our uh, fellow teachers uh, through training programs and uh, in a friendly manner um uh, whatever we have explored here that uh, we will uh, spread in our uh, ut and uh, srgs uh, may implement ict uh, ICT, uh, uh, re developing ICT resources in the year schools and also at a regional level. We will contribute in development of more uh, e-content, uh, e-content especially by uh, involving uh, students uh, in those uh, activities. And uh, proposed activities at the state level. Uh, the first thing is uh, uh, we are uh, here to request our Directorate of School Education and our Government of Puducherry to provide uh, ICT infrastructure for a uh, primary level. Along uh, along with that, we also would request our uh, uh, government to provide a uh, uh, television, smart television for uh, pre-primary classes and class one and two, which is uh, uh, which is very much need uh, needed to. Uh, uh, use all the resources. We have plenty of resources uh, uh, in the Diksha platform for using those uh, things. Uh, we would request uh, uh, this demand to the government and uh, uh, an ICT uh, uh, cell and core team will be formed. SRC, SRGs, uh, we will act as the MRPs and initiate training on ICT to all the teachers of uh, Puducherry. And uh, we would uh, encourage and motivate other teachers uh, to enroll themselves in ICT uh, courses uh, run by CIT and CRT uh, like that. And uh, we are uh, requesting the department to set up a television station for broadcasting educational program through uh, Swayam Prabha uh, mm -hmm. to provide a, a the, and we also have a proposal to establish a community radio uh, channel for the directorate of uh, school education. And regarding the training, uh, um, all the all the good things what we have learned in this uh, training program, various uh, educational apps and its applications in the classrooms and hands-on FOSS and development of e-resource and content and integrating ICT with uh, pedagogy. All these are uh, going to be uh, uh, implemented in our uh, among our teachers uh, through the training programs. We are uh, uh, ready for that. Uh, that, that, that's all for our action plan. And if anything uh, uh, we would uh, uh, like to add, we will add upon Madam. Thank you on behalf of uh, the entire team of Puducherry. Thank you, Madam. Thank you. And now, thank you so much, Ma'am. Now I would uh, request the Telangana State to present their state action plan. Mm -hmm. Who will be presenting? It's not visible. Sorry, audio is not audible. Yeah, am I? Now, ma'am, yes. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, I would like to uh, 
request i'm requesting the access to accept our sincere gratitude uh, to all the professors uh, for their insights and guidance uh, that have been provided as per uh, the past five days uh, on behalf of all our telangana team and uh, we are very much uh, impressed by the cit team for their promise and punctuality uh, they have showed towards the smooth running of the program and uh, made it a cake walk for all the participants to complete the training successfully and uh, uh, one of the participants namely ms shailaja has proved how telangana people are attentive towards the uh, trainings having her video on uh, for all the sessions yeah and uh, now uh, you are taking uh, as uh, you have guided us to be short enough uh we have uh, planned for only uh, a brief uh, mode and uh, that uh, i'm going to present it but uh, before that um i would like to uh, uh share something uh bring to your notice that uh, we are uh, proud to say that nearly uh, 3000 uh, videos uh, and uh, program bits have uh, already been uploaded in uh, deeksha platform and uh, 200 uh, to 300 teachers were trained on ict tools and also uh, teachers are still working on it and uh, uh, here we among uh, the 17 srgs which are from our uh, state uh, 7 are from primary sections and uh, 10 are from secondary section uh, whom who we are uh, have taken initiations and uh, have planned accordingly there is an individual uh, uh, trait which we are going to follow uh, even though the digital content is being has been made many of the students are uh, unaware of that due to their uh, uh, financial status or uh, the lack of uh, technology over there with them uh, so we want first to bring awareness uh, to the students to utilize the content that has been prepared and next thing uh, as everybody has said uh, we are also going to train our co teachers uh, uh, on a weekly basis on in collaboration with all the other subject teachers uh, so so that uh, they can be trained all the uh, tools and applications that has to be used in their classroom transactions and uh, as indu ma'am said uh, we are ready to work as an evaluators for uh, e content and the next one is uh, we are further uh, put our efforts uh, to develop our the, the skills on uh, e content by learning various coding tools and uh, further one more thing i would like to bring to your notice is uh, we all have uh, planned to uh, have a five uh, online sessions online uh, uh, yeah mm, meetings uh, through which we we would uh, share our knowledge and uh, we to explore more on the learned uh, tools and yeah the next one as a team uh, we are going to organize the training programs for teachers at uh, Or at all the levels i can say like uh, the district level and also at uh, the uh, complex and uh, even the mandal levels also will be dividing our uh, works uh, according to the uh, teams and uh, according to the subjects like um, and next important thing is the preparing lesson plans for uh, ifp that is uh, interactive pla uh, flat panel where we are into it already uh we are preparing uh, the lesson plans for that uh, in order uh, already those uh, panels were included in some some of the schools in hyderabad so the plans are being run and uh, lesson plans are being made uh, and uh, within a short period we'll be having those classes or panels in most of the most of other areas other schools in other areas too right and uh, yeah preparing content videos uh, for various classes in collaboration with all other subject teachers yeah and here are the goals uh, which we are going to work as a team preparing content videos on various uh, subject content as uh, most of us are already into it and uh, we are uh, will be training other teachers too to uh, 
to have a help hand uh, of them and uh, making and uploading those videos at uh, diksha portal has also already been done and will be into it also giving training to teachers and uh, providing our full support to our uh, seert yeah. and uh, this is all for us and uh, from us and we are uh, grateful and thankful to the team CIET team and uh, as uh, here it is given we'll be awaiting for the uh, educational programs that you can uh, will can uh, continue to have thank you thank you and all thank you so much ma'am it was a very uh, engaging presentation so now i hope you all uh, are aware that you are going to submit these action plans to us and i wish you all the best that you are in future able to co convert these action plan into concrete action and bring about change in your state um, yeah. and bring about a quality education and yeah. and gain lot of success so thank you everyone for sharing and preparing uh, and then sharing Uh, this action plan now i would invite professor indu kumar ma'am for uh, giving us overview of this five day program i welcome you ma'am uh, sir actually in the previous uh, thank you ms pinky yes uh, welcome once again to this culminating session the valedictory session so i was listening to your presentation though i missed a few i was in a meeting with uh, the global team uh, from unicef so i missed a few presentation but uh, <clears throat> i will go through the presentations which i missed so the presentations you have made here were really really uh, very nice you tried to come up with a program where you are taking into considerations all the dimensions uh, of the implementation of this training program so you have made a decentralized uh, action plan where you expressed your uh, the desire to implement it right from the district level to the um, upper uh, layer of it so thank you very much for uh, presenting the wonderful presentations so uh, mm, uh i will not go into details of overview of the program i would like to listen to the uh, uh feedback of the participants rather so as you all know the schedule is with you we tried to uh, uh chalk out or craft the uh, schedule in such a manner that you get to know <clears throat> different variety of e content you also get an exposure the real demonstration of uh, the end product and then you learn the process of creating uh, the uh, content so you learnt um, a lot of software our team has given a demo followed by uh, the hands on on part part of the participants so we uh, try to although it is online there are certain limitations of the online uh, platform especially in terms of connectivity and engagement but i could see uh, most of you uh, almost all of you were very much engaged uh, with the program only uh, a few people very few people were absent in a few sessions but most of you were always there uh, participating <clears throat> with engagement so that was seen from the kind of the examples of e content that you have developed from the software that you have uh, learned tools and softwares that you have learned so we have also demonstrated some of the uh, newer initiatives like virtual labs uh, the uh, i also demonstrated the uh, fl and vertical which is always uh, already there on the iksha and education for all uh, vertical two more vertical have yet to come we have to launch them and that is cwsn and vocational uh, education so these are some of the newer areas which uh, <clears throat> need the development of content to the uh, large extent uh, and uh, we all <clears throat> will be uploading and housing these content on our state instances 
Professor Behra also mentioned in his brief remarks that we are in need of developing a lot of digital content, especially in our regional languages, because uh, the in a country like India, which is so diverse in nature, having digital content in Hindi, English and Urdu will not suffice. So we need to reach out to the last mile learner also. And that is why we organize the e -content, these e-content training programs so that you learn the software, you learn the process and you create content in uh, the mm, respective languages which are spoken and which are used as the medium of instruction in your respective states and uh, UTs. So that was the entire purpose. Apart from this, uh, we also need to address the, um, the, the diverse student population that we have, especially the children with the special needs. So how to make our digital content accessible is another um, area which we need to think of and which we need to work towards. So there are a lot of challenges that we all know, but we have to work in collaboration to meet all such uh, challenges. So you also had a session in the morning on ICT pedagogy integration. So how to, uh, how, how can we integrate content pedagogy and technology to make our learning plan more interesting and engaging for the learners and also to achieve the um, learning outcomes and objectives of our lesson plans that we <clears throat> develop for our um, students. So apart from this, when we are going digital, cyber safety and security is one of the uh, major area of concern. So though this session was not related to e-content development, but it relates to the, um, the, the, the need that we have to be, our children have to be in digital spaces, uh, in cyber spaces. So uh, uh, the, and they should not be vulnerable. They should know all the do's and don'ts of being in the cyber world. Uh, cyber world. That is why we keep a session on cyber safety and security also to make ourselves aware and also to, so that in turn, we can make our students uh, aware of the kind of threats that we uh, face. Uh, just uh, because of being uh, in cyber spaces. So in physical spaces, we, uh, we, we follow a lot of do's and don'ts, but there are no, not uh, very well defined protocols uh, of being in cyber spaces, though uh, we are coming up with digital safety and security guidelines we have come up with, which are already there on the website of NCRT. But uh, having a session always uh, helps a lot to understand the uh, nuances of uh, uh, safety and security uh, concern. So these were some of the highlights <clears throat> of uh, the uh, training program that we had. But uh, I would be more interested in listening uh, your feedback so that uh, the, I, I listen from the real um, users, participants of this training program. And if uh, you can give a few suggestions also, you have a few suggestions, then the suggestions are also welcomed because <clears throat> suggestions always help in improving a program. No program is a full proof program in itself, but uh, we learn from the experience. So thank you very much. Uh, over to uh, Ms. Pinky. Thank you so much, ma'am, for uh, taking us through all the sessions that we went through in all in the last five days. Now, I would request uh, all of you, please, uh, anyone who would like to give us uh, feedback or uh, share your experience, anyone, any, any yeah, two. Ma'am, this is Gordon. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma From <laughs> Ladakh. First, uh, Shalja ma'am raised uh, her you. hand. So Thank you very much, ma'am, ma this opportunity. And it's a uh, it's wonderful session. Sessions all went on very well. I agree that. But we can't do within five days. Uh, that too, I, I, I understood. And uh, many tools and uh, 
ICT techniques were introduced and less time is given to us to go into practice because we are already totally engaged the whole day and uh, evenings and all uh, we have the assignments to do and household works to do but less time is given to us for the practical aspects that I, I noticed uh, kindly uh, take up this suggestion uh, please accept this and then um, uh, coming to the content and validity and all uh, really wonderful all those are uh, tools and that are introduced are very good and we are uh, able to practice that and also use that in technology in our classrooms and also in our field level and we come up with our, our action plan and uh, also we produce a detailed plan of uh, action later after the results also will uh, submit that i assure and uh, also i want to uh, test it in field level also uh, of course i worked for diksha uh, in our state uh, for e content development especially textbooks uh, uploading the videos for uh, primary section english mm -hmm. uh, we learned many things uh, beyond that um, not only ppts audio video editing and everything we want to work more on that we need some more training i felt that's uh, one more request to you maybe from uh, part of crt or ncrt we re request a few more days maybe a week we are expecting for a training some more time and then uh, regarding the lectures that are given all are very excellent really i owe them a lot for giving such a vast information and and they are so patient and kind enough bearing everything with us and, and answered every queries that we gave even the uh, host and also you people uh, pinky using ma'am team everything is uh, very well it's uh, it's uh, a gratitude from my heart from the bottom of my heart on behalf of all of us and uh, we miss all the co-participants also from tomorrow onwards of course we'll be in touch with you all um, in through online or something like and we would extend our sincere thanks to ncrt team members a technical team also and uh, we we are uh, happy to work with you ncrt i i support you in any aspect that you uh, need you are in need thank you so much thank you so much ma'am such a delightful words and ma'am this is gordon from andhra pradesh Although we are taking only two uh, participants to their feedback, but you all are yes. free to write in chats. Already some yes. people are giving their feedback uh, yes, yes, in uh, the chat. So chat option yes. is there uh, to all of yes, you. Thank you. I will take only two minutes. Uh, to whom I have to... Take your time. <laughs> you can yes, take three minutes. <laughs> okay. To whom I have to thank. Why? Because uh, the person who chose me and then who trains me. So it's a uh, very long we are very, very, very thankful to you, to the God also. So the language flows like a river. It's like a, it's a, uh, it's a wave. And then, uh, so sometimes it, uh, it waves like a river very slowly. And then it, it took, took like a wave. So even though um, this time it is a time, it is very hectic to sit nine from nine to evening up to six o'clock. It's very hectic, but my mind allows and uh, it is controlling me not to, it is not allowing me to move from where I sit. So I am very much thankful to you. So I am listening to your words. Mm, I am promising that wherever, whenever or wherever I, I do participate uh, in to develop ICT, but I am sure that I can do justice to my students and my colleagues also to how to use the ICT in uh, while using and transacting lessons and then how to use it, it multiple, multiple ways. The persons who encouraged me uh, in five days, uh, so I am listening. I may, either I may go wrong. Or, um, Indu Kumar, ma'am, and then uh, Deepthi, and then Ajit Vandana, and then Vimalesh, Monika, and Pinky Singh, Aish Prachi, and Angel, ma'am, and then Shalini, Nisha, and uh, Shishi, sir, and uh, not the least uh, Alok, sir, uh, who is, uh, is the, he is translating. So thank you very much. And then giving this opportunity. Um, so thank you very much. So I will do my justice to the students and then vice versa to their colleagues also to transform 
ICT. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir, for showing us so much enthusiasm for everyone and for your state student. So I wish the best for you all. So thank you, uh, Indu ma'am and JDCIT and giving me this opportunity to come in front of such a dignitaries and conduct uh, this program. I thank from bottom of my heart for, for giving me this opportunity to learn and uh, and forgive me for my my mistakes and my fumbleness and uh, this is a learning phase for me so it was a learning experience for me thank you everyone thank you ma'am and now i would request uh, dr monica for formal vote of thanks uh, before monica gives a formal vote of thanks <laughs> i uh, want to uh, uh just give a, a reaction on the kind of feedbacks given and kind of feedbacks being given in the chats and thank you for a few suggestions also uh, i would like to mention uh, here that uh, we already have created a, a page on uh, cit's website where you will get all the presentations all the presentations uh, and uh, the uh, related resources so if in future you want to learn more on any tool uh, and practice on it, you can go back to the presentations uh, uh, housed there. You can uh, watch them, see them and practice more on them. That is one of the uh, thing that we have done and we always uh, do. So, uh, yeah. <clears throat> Uh, and I am also giving opportunity to all the consultants working with me to uh, have an exposure to uh, organizing this training program. So Ms. Pinky uh, was given in this phase the opportunity to coordinate this program. So uh, you, uh, I don't know how effective she was, but it's always a learning process for all of us as you progress further. Uh, maybe you will uh, refine uh, more in that. So Dr. Monica was uh, guiding everyone from behind, all the people who are doing this uh, uh, yeah, co-coordination for the first time. So she is a support to all of them. But we have to build our own human resource also and groom them to conduct such training programs. So uh, Ms. Anna and Ms. Pinky was given opportunity this time, though there was a support from uh, all of us to them. So yes, Thank we learn so in much. the process. Thank you so we much, Master. Thank, Thank you, everyone. Monica, ma'am, for all the support. Uh, so now over to Monica for the formal vote of thanks. <clears throat> Uh, very good evening once again and thank you ma'am uh, for all your guiding words and inspiring uh, uh, positions you have given us to work and perform in at this level, uh, which is really a big platform for all of us to perform our duties. Thank you, ma'am. Now I would, before I start the formal vote of thanks, a few announcements uh, before that. I have posted a feedback. <laughs> Shalja ma'am is laughing over me because whenever I come, I come with announcements. <laughs> so I have posted um, uh, one, uh, uh, form which where you can provide your feedback uh, and I'll request to provide you to genuine feedback so that we can actually work on it and improve upon it. Uh, also, I have provided one telegram group link because this WhatsApp group link will group will be uh, after some time, not right away, maybe after a week or two weeks, once every uh, aspect of this program is complete. We will close the WhatsApp group and we will move on to the Telegram group because Telegram gives us a facility of having more number of joinees than the WhatsApp does. Uh, so I have shared the link on the group and also 
a colleague of mine has created a steps which also i have shared there to join the telegram group basically you have to first download the telegram app the way we do the whatsapp and then you install it on your uh, mobile and then you can click on this link to join the group if you still face that difficulty you can write in the group we will help you to uh, add your yourself to the telegram group uh, and the just a second third announcement i'm missing i'll just check and then i'll do so that i don't miss anything also all the state teams are requested to email their state action plan on the email id which i've shared in the group that is diksha.training@ciit.nic.in i have given in the whatsapp group but still i'm saying it here diksha.training@ciit.nic.in And tell them if they want to refine their plan further in a day or two. So refine one day. Okay. Uh, and ma'am is already suggesting that if you want to refine your uh, action plans, you can refine and then share uh, the action plans for others. So uh, for with us, so that it will be shared further with the state teams, so that you uh, <clears throat> state the uh, state authorities, so that they can facilitate you. to work upon these action plans with this aim it will be shared with the state authorities also uh so uh, three announcements i have made apart from that the fourth one uh, assignment part which you are already working upon and i know you are facing quite a lot of difficulty so possibly we are going to increase the date i will write on the whatsapp group but at least try to do it uh, uh, within the time because in some uh, few of the participants are facing the registration and uh, login difficulty in the uh, oer course so you will get enough time and the load will uh, reduce on the platform then you will be able to complete it so with that in mind i am uh, i we will be increasing the deadline uh i think these are the four things the first was sharing your action plans on the email id joining the telegram group providing your feedback to us and the assignment part all these uh, four things please be careful don't just forget about it uh, complete all these aspects and once you submit the assignment then only the certificates will be released relieving orders will be uh, uh, um, pinky ma'am will uh, tell us when we will be receiving the relieving orders so we will receive hopefully by today or by monday yes ma'am they are prepared and we'll just email in few times right so you will be getting hopefully there is relieving orders today itself and rest uh, certificate will be issued after your assignments and action plans are received uh now the actual duty which is uh, <laughs> vote of thanks so now i uh, take this opportunity to uh, formally thank first of all all the uh, state authorities who have deputed you from your busy schedules and from your duty uh, which is assigned at the state level to this uh, program so that you can learn and apply these learnings in your state uh, so my heartfelt uh, thanks to all the state authorities for deputing all the participants for this long five day program uh, then i would like to also thank all the participants who have been the inspiration for us to work so that we can provide you whatever uh, knowledge we have or whatever effort we can put in to guide you and uh, help you and help us our, ourselves to learn together and grow together so thanks to all the participants for uh, joining for this training program on time and uh, also sometimes uh, are hard uh, words which we are saying to, for the discipline so thank you all uh, all of you now after our participants i would also like to now thank our program coordinator ma'am who have given us this opportunity to conduct this training program who have been hand holding us since the beginning from the planning stage and till the implementing stage and the final delivery of the certificates so i really thank you ma'am for your support and guidance i also thank head of department uh, dict uh, who has been uh, giving us all the opportunities to perform our duties thank you bharti ma'am and now um, last but not the least our joint director sir who you have seen that how from his uh, 
difficult time and difficult places he is also logging in to guide us to at least motivate us so that we don't think that he is not with us but he is with us so thank you very much very much sir for your visionary uh, approach and guidance uh, and also i thank all my team members here from cit who are working at the back end to support uh, us with different technical aspects and other aspects of the training and also i would like to extend my heartfelt thanks to all the resource person of this uh, program because they are the actual trainers who have been guiding us through different topics and different uh, aspects of this training i thank all the resource persons uh, from my core of my heart and basically from the whole team of cit thank you very much thanks to all of you if anybody is left i put forward my apologies thank you once again over to pinky ma'am uh, thank you so much it was a very uh, learning experience for me and now we will close the session again with the uh, group photo so yes. i would request i wanted to say that everybody <laughs> yes please i would request everyone to please switch on their camera <laughs> and for this training program so that we we captured this moment of togetherness <laughs> so uh, please uh, keep keep uh, your camera on for few minutes it will take some time okay hello idhar hi aa jao please give a very good smile <laughs> शलेजा मैम का स्माइल सबके सामने हम सब हो जाता है अपना ये ऑफ कर देना देर आर मेनी पार्टिसिपेंट हुज नॉट येट ओपन देयर कैमरा आई वुड अगेन रिक्वेस्ट ओके थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू एवरीवन थैंक यू मैम थैंक यू थैंक यू मैम थैंक यू एवरीवन एवरीवन थैंक यू मैम थैंक यू मैम थैंक यू मैम प्रदेश Actual thanks to you all, and also and I congratulate. I congratulate our Andhra Pradesh team and rest of the other state teams for Even successfully me. completing this program. Thank you. Thank, thank you so sir. much for all the support, sir. Thank you. Special thanks to Pinky Ji also. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Every it day was a great opportunity place. for me to learn to, with from all of you. <laughs> Always keep smiling. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> Thank you. Actually, the the anchors and then those those who are really encouraging, Pinky, ma'am, and then Anna, ma'am, and then Monica, ma'am. Ma <laughs> the DD Thank you. Who really encouraged us by giving so many hope that yes. such people definitely will come up as a uh, resource for the state okay yes ma'am you are hello one real thing is leave. that <laughs> <laughs>